Good afternoon everyone, welcome to my unboxing video for the Payopoli Phenom Noir 3D printer. The Noir is a successor to the popular Phenom printer by Payopoli. It was released in conjunction with the Payopoli Phenom L printer announced in 2019 and released this year in 2020. The Phenom, Phenom L, and Phenom Noir are all masked SLA 3D printers, which are closely related but have a few key differences. All of these printers use a UV LED array to cure UV photopolymer resin in a vat with a transparent FEP lined bottom. 405 nanometer UV resin is stored in the vat and the build plate lowers into position so it's flush with the LCD screen. The only thing separating the LCD from the build plate is a transparent FEP film. As pixels are activated on the LCD screen, it allows light through, carrying specific sections of your print layer by layer. Between each layer, the build plate raises, peeling the print from the FEP film and preparing it for the next layer. Here are some stats comparing the three models. These boxes represent the build dimensions of these printers. The Phenom L and Phenom Noir share similar build dimensions, but the LCD screens are of a different type. The Phenom L features a traditional LCD screen, while the Phenom Noir sports a high-speed monochrome LCD screen allowing more light to pass through and drastically extending the life of the LCD. All three Payopoli models feature a 4K LCD screen, which is important for large build dimensions. Pixel density is a function of the resolution divided by the screen size. All of these models have acceptable XY resolutions, which is ideal for the high fidelity prints most people buy resin printers for. The biggest difference though lies in the LCD technology. Monochrome LCDs are not common anymore and are very difficult to source, especially at these sizes. Decreasing layer cure time has a very big impact on the lifespan of the LCD screen. Let me give you a short example. Here we have the stats for a 400 millimeter tall print, printed at 0.05 millimeter layer height, with a layer cure time of eight and 1.5 seconds respectively. The lifespan of the Phenom LCD is rated at 400 hours, and the Noir at 2000. This is the amount of time the LCD panel will last while being exposed to UV light. A 400 mm tall model at 0.05 mm layer height is 8000 layers. If each layer cures for 8 seconds and 1.5 and seconds, this gives us LCD exposure time of 17.7 and 3.3 hours just for this one print. Dividing this time into the lifespan of the LCD gives us the approximate wear that this one print will put on our LCD screen. The difference is drastic, and if you're like me, print times add up. A print this size would put 3 hours of wear on the Noir LCD, while the Phenom would put over 17 hours. This would give us an LCD wear percentage of 4.4% for the Phenom and 0.17% for the Noir. Now I anticipate what some of you might say. You may say that the lifespan of the LCD is rated in hours of print time, not light on time. I'm not really sure about this, but if I were designing a 3D printer, I would disable the LCD between layers while the light is off to extend its lifespan as long as possible. While running the LCD may cause wear, the most significant factor affecting wear is the amount of time exposed to UV light. With that out of the way, let's get to what you really clicked this video for, the unboxing. To save you time, I've accelerated the beginning part of the unboxing process. And this thing weighs quite a bit, about 120 pounds. So in my case, I ordered it from 3D Printing of Canada and it was not shipped on a pallet and was completely destroyed. 3D Printing of Canada was not helpful during this process. They gave me bad information. They also didn't ship it properly. I spoke to Payopoli um, for quite a while and they informed me that these machines should be shipped on a pallet. Reason being is that shipping workers won't be able to lift it then. And that's exactly what happened to this unit. It, someone picked it up thinking they could carry it and they dropped it. Upon taking it apart, the interior was completely destroyed. There's a massive heat sink for the LED array to keep it cool as well as fans and the heat sink has to be at least 40 pounds and it had broken loose and had bent a bunch of brackets. It was a mess. Needless to say I ordered one directly from Payopoli and they shipped it out as quick as they could. They also shipped it out on a pallet. 
Payopoly customer service has been nothing but excellent. I've had a great experience and they communicate quickly and efficiently. Shipping was 500 bucks, but for a unit this size, it wasn't a terrible deal. Uh, it was shipped in by FedEx and it went from Hong Kong to my doorstep in Florida in three days. Now the inner box does come with a checklist as you can see here. Because the unit is so heavy and I was by myself, I decided to open it upright and pull it out from the front. This was going to be a lot easier for me than lifting it out of the box and I had no one to hold on to the box for me. Now that the unit's unwrapped, it's time to take a look at what's inside. The door stays closed with magnets to prevent light from leaking in, and the front is a transparent orange filter to prevent any UV light from entering and curing the resin prematurely. Everything is very neatly packed with styrofoam, and the first few styrofoam pieces are just for support. first set of equipment to pull out is the power cable, a metal and plastic scraper, build plate mounting screw, extra FEP film, and some cheap plastic gloves. The next thing to pull out is the resin vat. Finally, we have the build plate, which is packaged nicely. You may have noticed I already have the build plate and vat installed because my video messed up. First thing they suggest is that you clean the LCD screen with isopropyl alcohol only. The next thing to do according to the instructions which I printed is to level the build plate. You are asked to place a sheet of paper on top of the LCD and click the home button on the machine's touch screen. This is with the build plate installed of course. This brings the build plate down to factory set level. If it's properly leveled, you shouldn't be able to insert or remove the paper from beneath the build plate. There's only one more step before we start printing, and that is to test the LCD screen. In settings, there is a calibration pattern if your LCD and UV LED array is working, you should see a rectangular pattern through the FEP film. Now, since I ordered the machine directly from Pyopoly, I decided to give their resin a try, which is supposedly calibrated for this unit. I chose the Pyopoly Deft resin in white. It is approximately $65 per kilogram, which is quite a bit more expensive than alternatives, but we'll see how it works. It comes in two half kilogram bottles, and I just added a half kilogram right there. I have some pictures here of prints that I've completed with it. Unfortunately, the 
prints that were included did fail. Um, it was my mistake. I had my resin in the house at 72 degrees and it really needs to be in a warm place. 